Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your extended. Thanks for coming over and supporting the channel in this way. It's so, so helpful and beneficial to keeping all of these videos coming out for you. So let's see, Gemini, we're going to look at your person's thoughts first. The first row is thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions. Then we will clear the, the board and we'll look at um, what they like best about you. Okay. bottom of the deck we have the devil energy <laughs> devil wears a blue dress there was a song by tom seeger oh many years ago i'm dating myself but devil with a with a blue dress on this is devil with a red dress on <laughs> your person's very compelled by you they're very much uh they see you as just an enormous temptation very beautiful. You might look very good in the color red. All right, so let's see their thoughts. I'm trying to get this straight. Thoughts, feelings, and intentions, actions. Okay, let's look. So their thoughts, two of cups, you're a soulmate. They feel as though you're the person they can confide in. There's a sweetness there. It's love. It's true love. It's absolutely adoring one another. It's having those moments of intimacy, the sweetness of it, the love of it. The two of coins looks as though this person feels as though they have to juggle a lot. The two of coins is a period of indecision in which, you know, you're just trying to keep the keep everything going and moving, balancing on a skyscraper. Your person feels as though they're somewhat at risk in this relationship. So sometimes I think their energy is that they feel at risk. They feel like they're gambling a little bit on this relationship. So I think sometimes it might be kind of a running hot and cold situation with their moods. Ten of Swords. They feel very, this is a, this is a person who thinks that you have really said or done something that has been a betrayal the ten of swords they feel like something that you said has really been uh shocking almost they took it without saying anything but it really says that right now they think that this could be an ending they're not sure though how do they feel in their heart space the four of wands they want this to be balanced they want the relationship to be very much. This is twin flame energy. We saw this earlier in the reading. The four of wands is a, you know, basically a man and woman uh, dancing on top of a house. Usually in the rider weight, it's a woman and a man dancing under the garland at their wedding. But this person has a lot of love for you. They feel as though you're part of their stability, part of the structure of their life. <laughs> Knight of Wands, they want to show off in front of you in their heart space. They love to make a big scene. Your person loves to sweep in and be very romantic. They feel as though that when they come to you, they're jumping through a ring of fire, but they're a bit showy. I mean, I think this person's probably good looking. You know, to some people that matters <clears throat> and other people it doesn't, but... We get someone who, in their heart space, absolutely loves to come in and visit you. Again, this is in and out energy. Okay. The world card. So your person feels in their heart space that this, they think the world of you. First of all, they absolutely adore you. They think the world of you. You're their foundation. But they're wondering if this is over. They're wondering if you want out. They're trying to figure out what's going on between the two of you right now. They feel like making love to you could really be beneficial to whatever is happening in your relationship right now. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles energy. So this is the energy that says that your person is very much fixated on their money. This is Taurus energy, but you know, this is their intention with you. So their intention is to be stable, reliable, to nurture the relationship. 
it is a softer energy. It basically is like a daddy card. They still want to look out for you. They still want to take care of you in some regard in this relationship. We also see the Knight of Pentacles. This does look as though for some of you that this person could be married to someone else and very much single and mingling with you and you are the twin flame, but these are your cards. You know, what we see is this person very much wants what he, what they have with someone else. It looks as what, it looks as though it's what they want with you. And I don't mean having love. I mean having a, a marriage or a committed relationship. Again, they do feel tied down, but they, t they feel very caught. The devil card is oftentimes the dark side of the lover's card. Obsession. In terms of their intentions, oh, they do not plan on going anywhere. You cannot do a disappearing act on this person. They will find you. Oh, my goodness. They will find you. Let's look and see what their actions are. The Eight of Cups right now, they're walking away. They are walking away. They feel very defeated here. The Two of Swords, I think that the Two of Swords is not contacting you not paying attention to you is their action. The Eight of Wands, okay. So this person feels as though whatever argument you had, and we saw that, that there was sort of an argument that happened in the main reading. And they feel as though they don't know what to do. They want the Two of Cups back with you, but they do feel as though you've stabbed them in the back. So they don't wanna go anywhere. They still want the passion. They want the stability. You know, but they want to close out whatever this was. And so they're going to move, they're manifesting you, but they're doing it in kind of a very, it's manipulative, it's toxic energy. Instead of talking to you about what happened or what was said, they're doing a walk away, they're not going to contact you, and they're going to leave it up to you to contact them because they feel quite assured that you will do that. They feel as though there's no way you're going to let go of them, that the passion is overwhelmingly positive for both of you, and that, you know, when your mood lifts and those umbrellas catch wind, that the two of you will be back together. So let's see what they like best about you. What does your person like best about you? I'm going to pull six cards for this. The Wheel of Fortune. They love that you are a risk taker. They love the fact that you're very positive, you're very upbeat, that you took a chance on them. They feel as though you are a prominent business person who is really able to discern, you know, risk. Look at this, Ten of Cups. What they love best about you is the fact that you love them so well, that you love them so deeply. This Ten of Cups is what they love best is your ability to love at such a, a profound level. Ten of Cups is happily ever after energy. We saw that earlier too. Tell us more about what they love about you, the Emperor card. <laughs> they see you as a person who likes to be in charge. They see you as a person who absolutely is a leader, that you have authority in your life, and that you are powerful, and you're not to be messed with. <laughs> I like that. They see you as somebody who's very accomplished. Look at all those badges and medals and somebody who may be older than them because we see the sort of old whiskers, which are tree branches, which are actually very earthy and beautiful. The Four of Swords. What they like best about you is that actually they can impact your emotions. That at the end of the day, they know that you're really feeling lost without them. They love the fact that you will forgive them almost anything. The death card. They love the fact that you can transform your life. Tell us more about the Four of Swords. They love the fact that no matter what, you bounce back up and you have a victory in your life. What is it about the Fool card that they love? Queen of Swords, you're discerning. You can't really be fooled. Even the fool knows that, you know, there are hidden issues. The death card, what do they love about this death, death card so much? Because you're quite beautiful. They feel as though you're transforming something, the hanged man. 
They feel as though you are likely to end something with them and then wait for them. And the Three of Cups says that they're probably right, that at the end of the day, the friendship between the two of you is pretty profound. The Page of Wands, they love that you'll throw caution to the winds. Your person feels as though if they just let everything that's happened simmer down, that wish fulfillment comes back in, that the two of you are too happy together for for the two of you to let this go. Yeah, you, it does look like for most of you, you're in a third party situation. Let's look. I want to see if this person's going to get divorced. For those of you for whom it resonates, let's look and see. I like a leisurely reading. It's kind of fun, guys. It's really nice to do this. I do personal readings for those who are interested. I do have telephone readings. They're very fast. You can get three questions answered um, succinctly in a telephone reading for $40. You can get more detail in a video reading for $60 for 20 minutes. So let's see. Is this person, is this, a, this third, for those, this is only for those of you who are in a third party situation. Let's see their feelings about you. Their thoughts, feelings, and, and actions with you versus thoughts, feelings, and actions with a karmic or current partner. So this is with you, okay? So their thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Their thoughts. Their feelings. their actions, this is with you, okay, and let's look at their thoughts, feelings, and actions with, oh, this is so annoying, <laughs> I can never quite get my table right with my camera, anyway, thank you for your patience, let's see their thoughts, feelings, and actions, I'm going to clarify these, but I want to put all the cards out first so we can really see the big picture. Okay. So their thoughts, their feelings, and their actions with you. I mean, with their partner. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and shuffle these again. What are your person's thoughts, feelings, and actions with their current partner? I would say that most of you know about this partner. I feel as though you probably worked with this person or met them through work. With that, Queen of Pentacles and the card of collaboration. Okay, so let's see. Their thoughts about their current person. Hanged man trying to look at things from a different perspective. They do, their thoughts are that if they could have a new beginning and it would, that it would be very happy. So let's see what their feelings are. Two of Cups. So that's a soulmate card. They still love their person. Okay, we have Heart of Pentacles. We have Devil Energy. We have the Energy of Four of Coins. We have Four of Swords. And we have Nine of Pentacles. Wow. All right. So let's look and compare these two side by side. Their thoughts for you, they're all up in their head. They have chosen you. You're the one for them. We get the Emperor card. This person knows that you help others. Uh, they know that you have a lot of authority, a lot of leadership, a lot. You bring a lot to the table. They feel very much up in their head because they would like to choose you, but they see you as a person who may or may not want them. The Emperor card is a card that says that you're kind of the leader of your own life. In their emotions, what's hidden here is that they see you as a soulmate, but they don't tell you. They absolutely see you as somebody who's very different from themselves, but you know they do feel that they're taking advantage of you. This is, you know, coming in and taking this beautiful love and then really the fact that they don't tell you. They're not giving you a reward. They do feel a bit like a thief. They feel as though they're trying to look at this from a higher perspective, to look at it from your perspective. They're not really quite sure what they're going to do. 
the hanged man says that, you know, it's a point of indecision, a point of indecision here with their person that they seem to be with currently. But what we're getting here is the Ace of Swords is that this person has clarity that right now they're going to rush in and out to talk to you. They're going to rush in and out to make love to you if you allow that. But the Knight of Swords is that they have something really to say to you in terms of their actions. And so they might be telling you any number of things. But right now, for their actions, are very clear that they're not going to make a movement towards you is what I'm seeing. Now, for their person that they're in this relationship with, that looks like we do know or think that there are children involved here, they feel as though they've been punched in the head. Your person feels as though, with you, they feel as though whatever's happening will reveal itself. They're very calm, cool, and collected. When they think of this person, it looks as though their person has requested that they give the relationship a new chance with a big promise of um, being happy. You know, like, oh, hey, you know, we've, we've loved, we love each other so much. Let's start again. You know, we also get your person in their heart space. I mean, they do love their person. You know, the Heart of Pentacles looks like, once again, the, the Queen of Coins. They do value what this person brings to the table, no doubt about it. Heart, heart of Pentacles says that they feel that their person's reliable in terms of their love. But there's a lot of toxic energy here. That Devil card is profoundly difficult. That means that it's sort of the, the card of can't live with each other, can't live without each other. You know, we also see in their actions that they're holding on to this person. They're trying to heal, but they're holding on to you. Presuming that the Geminis that I'm reading for are single, we get that they're holding on to you. That they're really, and they're keeping this a secret, and the devil energy says that these two people are, you know, they have some good things here. There's no doubt about it. You know, but there is also soulmate energy with them. You have so now you have soulmate of the mind the of the major arcana, which is much more powerful. But you know, this is a marriage card. It literally is a marriage card. So it's the bride and groom exchanging vows at the ceremony of their wedding, and so your person does feel very obligated. Uh, in an unpleasant way to stay in this situation and to give it another chance. But there's no other chance it's going to be successful because we have this card of the Nine of Coins. And so I'm going to go ahead and get the Heart of the Fairy Oracle here to clarify what's going on here with the, more, the, the darker cards. So let's see what we have here. The Nine of Swords. Why is this person all up in their head? Why are they all up in their heads? So you're still, you know, what's interesting here is that you are a part of their actual relationship. They are not a direct part of yours with your person. It's weird. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Lady of Joy. Oh, look at what you represent to them. They think of you as the Lady of Joy. Look at how delightful that is. Look at that. You're a person who lives large, who goes after what they want. You're a person that they feel is just joyful to hang out with, joyful to be with. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? The Lady of Song. They won't tell you. They're refusing to tell you how important you are to them. Why is the hanged man here? Why are they trying to look at this differently? The star fairy. Oh, your person is trying so hard to ignore what they feel. They're trying so hard. That hanged man energy. Why do we have the, the uh, female emperor energy here? The song. I, these cards are phenomenal. I mean, your person just thinks you're amazing, Gemini. Absolutely, they know that you're amazing. The Queen of Passage, they feel as though you're going to give them up. They feel as though with the player energy that at the end of the day, that the Queen of Passage, you're going to go through this passage, that you're going to clear the way, that you're going to move forward with or without them, depending on what they do. But they feel as though you're in a time of transition and that you're going to go traveling and you're going to go have fun. 
So the player is feeling, I don't want to say player, but you know, this energy feels as though they're going to leave you behind. And the reason is, is that harsh words were spoken or will be spoken. The returning, oh, they're going to return. Oh, you know, you're dealing with somebody, I think, a little bit younger. Pan is like Peter Pan. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. But they're not going to be able to forget you. The returning means that they're going to come in and they're going to be cute. And they're going to be charming. And that, you know, they're going to really come in with... But they have shapeshifter energy. So this person can really... This person has a potential to really not really reveal who they really are. I feel as though they, they're they codependent with that devil card and they have a tendency to please whomever they're with that they value. Okay, so the energy here of the hanged man, the hope. So your person does hope to make a marriage work. The Lord of the Forest says that they're trying to win at this. The Fairy of Youth means that it looks as though your person, they've known each other since they were very young. So there is that sort of idealistic quality about the two of them. Tell us more about the Two of Cups for this couple. Ugh. That is my keep them in the dark and feed them full shit. Excuse me, but it's like there's all this darkness and it's just one person, you know, one energy here that looks large, that looks powerful. So it's almost like the two of cups, la, 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 yeah, we're over here. We're just having a great old time all on our own, all by ourselves as two individuals and juggling. So it does look like they struggle with love with their person. It's it's just not what it seems. That's what I'm getting. It's not what it seems. And the next card is a Queen of Shadows over that Devil card. Queen of Shadows is pretty powerful. This is a very shadowed relationship in which there's been a lot of pain, a lot of endurance. The Queen of Laughter is their action of holding on to the person that makes them laugh the most, whether that's you, which I think it is, the Lady of Joy. You know, this is a card of really being very greedy, and we see you in the reading right here. This person doesn't know what to do. They feel as though they need a time out from the temptation. They absolutely are struggling here. The Fairy of Growth, they want to grow with you. They see you growing. So, Gemini, your person is not in an easy state of mind or heart. It looks as though they're very caught in this twin flame journey. So, I hope this resonated. Uh, please feel free, you know, to leave comments over on YouTube. And I thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Take care.